Hey guys, it's Di and welcome to the vlog. So today we are going to do our biggest grocery haul that we've ever done. So here is a quick look at everything and we are hosting Thanksgiving at our house. It's only seven people, but we are having to feed quite a number of adults more than regular. So we had to get a number of dinners, just larger portions. And so it was about $300 worth of stuff for this grocery run, um, but it will be for a number of days that we'll be feeding dinner to seven people. Um, so I will go down and try to quickly share what's in the grocery haul and share what I'm also feeding for a large group. I love using my crock pot. I'm also gonna be doing turkey breast because that's something really easy that I can just pop in the oven and it cooks on its own really well. Um, we're gonna be doing Italian beef, which is what that's for. Um, I have chicken for a chicken buffalo dip that I'm going to be doing, so a number of like appetizer things as well. Some noodle dishes, we can be doing some spaghetti, and just a lot of great sides and desserts as well. So, I'll start down here, and you'll probably be able to spot some of the regular things that we get, and then mixed in with some of the things that are a bit abnormal. So I got some cilantro and French onions for different recipes and also some tomatoes and mozzarella balls. I'm going to make some caprese salad with those. Baby spinach and artichokes somewhere. I'm going to be making a cream cheese artichoke and spinach dip. And then um, I also have chicken and buffalo sauce and a number of cream cheeses and I'll be making a buffalo chicken dip out of those so the spinach dip and buffalo chicken dip would be two sides there's some eggs for breakfast there's a number of things of oatmeal this one's a blueberry strawberry one shredded wheat that's actually one of our usual things we get and some party crackers applesauce for the kids there's Ritz crackers and Cheez-It snack mix just to have crackers and a number of snack things on hand. I got some mozzarella cheese. This is for one of the recipes I'm going to be doing. I got a number of things to make chili. That's what we'll have for dinner one night because it's really super easy. Put it in the crock pot. Feeds a ton of people. So kidney beans, chili beans, and the chili base for that. Um, a number of Progresso soups. People like those for lunch. So we have those. I got some mushroom gravies to have the night that we do the turkey because we'll do turkey and gravy. And this uh, Gardenia mix. Um, crunchy vegetables to do with the Italian beef. They were out of pepperoni, so I have to get some of those. Then just some regular hot sauce back there. There is some oil and vinegar um, for salads. And then a couple sour creams. We'll use those for making cookies. And then also some of the dips call for it as well. And then I got some extra cream cheese. So if I get time, I'm going to try to make a pumpkin cheesecake with one of those bars as well. Number of oyster crackers so people can have those with their chili and then also some sharp cheddar cheese for the chili and other recipes. One of the recipes called for both mozzarella and parmesan in one of the dips so I got that for that recipe and go-go squeeze for the kids to have for lunches. Some disposable roasting pans. I like doing the turkeys in those because then you can just toss it and then also some crunchy peanut butter to have on hand. There's a couple of flavored oatmeals here. Two of those with apple, cinnamon, maple, brown sugar, and cinnamon spice so people can have those for breakfast. And also some almond milk to have with cereal. I've never had these before. I just thought these looked interesting on the app. So there is some creamed spinach and also scalloped potatoes and these are just ready to go. You just pop them in. I thought these would be great sides to have. Um, one of the nights when we're just wanting something kind of easy. There's a number of bread choices. So we'll have these hard rolls when we have the Italian beef to have on those. There's an Italian loaf and then also a sliced bread loaf for sandwiches. Um, and then the couple different kinds of chips. There's cantina style tortilla chips, some sour cream chips, and also these twisted pretzels. Everyone really likes those. Morning Star breakfast sandwiches. Natalie likes those. And also some grated Parmesan and Romano cheese for pasta, if anyone wants that. I got these upon the recommendation of someone at work. It's steam and mash, recipe ready, pre-cut russet potatoes. So they're really great for making either crock pot meals or mashed potatoes. So we're going to be using those probably for some mashed potatoes. Then there's a couple um, cheddar garlic biscuit mixes. Now I actually had like the red lobster ones on 
the list and this was a substitution so this should be interesting to try those a couple of sauces to have with pasta juices for the kids both dark grape juice and the white grape juice some milk yogurts that's all regular stuff um, some dinner rolls and then I also had to get some contact solution so this is pretty much it you can kind of see um, the big things that people would be eating, Italian beef, turkey, chili, some crock pot meals. I've got some stuff I can do some soup in the crock pot. We've also already got pasta put back so we can do pasta one night. And then just another, a number of dips and things like that, like the Swedish artichoke and the chicken, um, and then we may try one more. I just tried to get some extra sour cream and extra cream cheese in case we want to try something twice or anything like that. So I hope you guys are having a great holiday season. I think this is definitely the largest grocery haul that we have ever shown on YouTube. And now I've got to go try to figure out how I'm going to fit all of this to put it away. So thanks for watching today and have a great day.